The little apple clumped tightly to the fence as a gentle breeze blew by. And all the apple noticing the younger apple seeds there chuckled and said, Looks like you're holding on to that bench for dear life, buddy. The little apple danced up at the older apple and said, I am. I don't want to hunt through the ground. Don't you know it's hard and dusty down there? The ground is filled with worms and, and creeping crawling bugs. Why just take a look for yourself? Can't you see all the rotten apples down there? The older apple thought for a moment and then replied, I know you're concerned about falling from the tree, but some good things have come from the ground. That's not the life of me, retorted the little apple. I've been on pain picked by a special friend who take into their home and place into a beautiful bowl with my shiny red skin. I saw be the most delicious looking piece of food in the entire bowl. The little apple the older apple gently replied, there is much more to bring in an apple than just having shiny red skin. Yes, I know, too, the little apple quickly interrupted. One of the children will probably take me to school for lunch or perhaps have me for a snack after school. He or she will know that I was born in a beautiful apple with a sunny appeal. He or she will find out that my food is great, tasting, and healthy for him and her. Yes, yes, you could be all those things for a season that all the apple tried to reply. But once again, the little apple broke in. Why, after he or she has finished eating the fruit, all that less is my core, he or she will. The little apple's voice dropped, it will probably throw my core in the tracks. Yes, replied the older apple, that is what your life could be like if you decide to live for the moment and choose to reap the quick reward. Re rewards. Whatever do you mean, asked the little apple. What other life is there? The older apple spoke. I have been trying to tell you if you just slow down for a moment and listen. Well, officially, as it appears that the wind is picking up again, the little apple said nervously, soothingly, the older apple explained, when the winds come, you may be sinking from the tree and fall to the ground. It is said that your shiny red skin will keep you from slitting apart and becoming apple straws. Once on the ground, a hungry bird or squirrel might find you and carry you away from the base of the tree. Once you met its needs and felt its stomach, it shall leave your heart and a little food behind. Then your real work begins. That doesn't sound a bit better, the little apple sweets. In fact, it sounds worse. Please allow me to finish, the older apple said. So we, once you are left on the ground, the rest of your food shall slowly rot and blend into the soil. It is at this point that the seeds will be buried into the earth for a period of time. The seeds will remain in the earth, but then, ever so slowly, something wonderful begins to happen. The seeds begin to sprout, breaking through the dirt. The sunlight and the rain help, help the sprout to grow into a small tree within a few seconds. The tree shall grow big enough to start producing apples of its own. From that season on, the tree shall produce hundreds of apples each season. So you see, little apple, there is much more you can be. All the little apple could say was, wow. As the winds picked up, you, you, you could see both the apples swinging in their leaves, hoping beyond, hope to fall to the ground and begin their lives work. Our lives can be made very much like the apples. We could choose to live for the moment and fulfill our plan, own plans and desires. The plans we have for our lives may be good, but God always has a better plan for us. If we are patient, we can take the time and if we listen to what he softly tells us, we can surround ourselves with many things.
to make us comfortable, but alas, these things only last for a season, or we could use the time, talent, and money God gave us for His purpose and glory. It is only then that we can reach our full potential.